Hi there, it's John from Commercial Real Estate Online. Welcome to the program, welcome to the video show. This is one of the videos I like to share online when it comes to commercial real estate or industrial or retail. This particular topic is all about retail. In fact, I want to introduce you to this particular chart, which will help you with shopping center leasing, some of the elements of that. Now, this particular chart is very detailed, very large, in fact, and I would encourage you to subscribe whilst you're here so that you can get the other parts of the program as I share them online. But this particular video will cover one particular group of items, and that will be the tenancy mix review. Now, when I look at a shopping center, I always start with that particular strategy. I do that so I understand the property from a leasing and performance perspective. Because every shopping centre is different. What I want to do there is to understand the tenancy mix to make sure that I've got everything covered and understood. And indeed, the tenancy mix is always unique and special. There'll be strengths, there'll be weaknesses in the tenancy mix, and as a retail property specialist, you have to work with that. So, let's have a look at this, recognising that the retail tenancy mix is many things, and you should make your list from this and add to the list as part of that. So here we go. This list is very detailed. Of course, there are many items there to go through. Now, I'll start at the top and take you through these items. You can make your own checklist as well from this. For all my friends online, I do actually share this particular chart with my friends online as part of the online community. So uh, please join there if you haven't already joined that community. So, tenancy mix review. Why am I looking at the tenancy mix? To understand the weaknesses, the strengths, the opportunities, the threats. Because a retail shopping centre has many different issues to watch and look for. And if you've got other retail shopping centres in the area, they could be competing for the same customers. So your retail shopping centre has to be as good as, if not better, than the competition around. So, tenancy mix, I start with the lease details. The options, the expiry dates for the tenancies, I want to know what the expiry dates are. If there are any monthly tenancies in the mix, there probably are. Any holdovers that may be active, holdovers are those particular tenants who did have a lease and went into a holdover occupancy situation after the lease expired. I'll look at all the active leases, the critical dates, the licenses. That's for alternative extra occupancies outside the main particular lease. And I'll also look at the rent details. Now, the rent review details will be timing and also type of review. So from that, I'll understand any particular numbers that have to be worked out soon. And then, of course, the lease terms and conditions and the lease documentation. And particularly with the expiry dates, I want to know what the expiry dates are because of the make good that will be coming up for that particular tenant. Because the make good has to be done before the expiry of the lease. So that's the lease detail. Why do I focus there? Particularly to make sure I understand the full property cash flow from the leases and the tenants in occupancy. Because each tenant will be different. Each lease will be different. And I have to understand that. So that's the lease details. As part of going through that, you would, let's say you look at a tenancy or a, a property with 10 tenants. All of the leases have to be inspected. That's your job. So what you do is you get the lease document, a copy of it. You copy the document itself and then you go through it and highlight the issues such as these. All of them. Options expiries, all of these things here that can change the tenancy over time. That's what you want to know. That's what you want to go through. So that's the start of this particular section of videos. In the next video, I'll take you down into current tenants, vacancy factors, and all of these other things here. 
because they are all important. But they are all quite complex and they do require you to make your list as I take you through the list. So today it's lease details to check the lease documentation to make sure you understand the lease documentation relative to that property, that landlord, those tenants and the opportunities sitting within. So this is John, John Highman from Commercial Real Estate Online. Visit the website at commercial-realestate-training.com. I would also encourage you to go to this particular this particular post, which is developing a comprehensive retail tenant checklist protocol, because that will help you as well. Take you down into the issues that you can structure into your checklist vacancy threats, landlord and tenant works, all those sorts of things. So that particular post is on the website, developing a comprehensive retail tenant checklist protocol. So the website, commercial-realestate-training.com, and there's the post there for you. Thanks for listening to this particular program. And of course, the chart I have started to give you, there's the first stage of the chart. And subscribe while you're here and I'll take you through the next part of this program in the next few days. Thanks for listening. I'll sign off for now and catch you again very soon online.